So loyalty cards are absolutely great feature to add into an app that you may be building for a local client. There are just a countless number of benefits to having loyalty cards. It helps businesses get return customers which are essential to the lifeblood of any business. You can send out a push notification to the app users, remind them, have you checked how many stamps left on your loyalty card before you get a free coffee and so on. And when you're building apps for a client who runs a business, loyalty cards are one of the key uh, selling points you can push on them because a lot of businesses have them. But to have the little card ones that you stick in your wallet or you put in your pocket and everyone always loses them. I know I do. If it's on my phone and it's on an app, if I go into a business, which I visit often enough, and they have a loyalty card scheme and it's an app on their phone, I will likely put it on my phone because I know if I attend there often, I'm going to end up getting something free. The prime example is Subway. I would go to Subway quite a lot and they used to have the card one that you put in your wallet and you'd take the card out and then scan that card. But what I found was I was actually losing the card or I'd take it out of my wallet for some reason and I would just never go back in. When they brought out their app loyalty card, it's on my phone. I've never not had it scanned once because my phone is always in my pocket. So every time I go to Subway, I just pull out my phone and I get my loyalty card stamp. And that is why having loyalty cards in mobile apps is pretty much essential moving forward. And it's the way every single business will be moving. And the great thing for you is it's a very easy sell to your business because business owners are aware of loyalty cards. They know all the big brands have loyalty cards. And when you start being able to incorporate this into your offer and your pitch when you sell them an app, they're really going to bite your hand off to get it. So to set up loyalty cards is really very simple. Again, you can change the title if you don't want to call it loyalty cards. If you want to call it club cards, you can just change it here and it will reflect over here. You can change the icon. So maybe you want a custom icon done that has that business's branding or logo. Well, you can do that as well. So you just click on create new card. And you'll see here you have options. The unlock code. So you have a number of options. You can name the card so you can create multiple loyalty cards. Maybe they have multiple different services. Maybe they want to one for coffee or one for sandwiches or I mean, that is what you'll discuss with the business. There's no point in trying to read minds. When you're going to close a deal to sell an app to someone, you'll say, I can create a loyalty card in your app. If you want, I can create a few different types of loyalty cards based on what people might buy from your business. So you need to know about the business. That's what you speak to the owner about, or via email or on the phone or in person. You give them that option. Next, you have stamps as a 2 plus 1, 3 plus 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1, 12 plus 1. So if you do 6 plus 1, and then you'll see the stamp icon. The stamp icon is the icon that's made when a stamp's made, is shown on the loyalty card. And then your final freebie tax. Okay, if you want, you can do a valid from, do a valid until date. You can set a daily limit on how many times it can be stamped per day. You can have a brief description. Of your choice. Again, if you want. You can bold this if you'd like or you can center it. It's purely up to you. Any disclaimers or details. And then you'll see here, you can change all the set text. So people will be building loyalty cards again. It might be a business in France, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, Hong Kong, Brazil, Mexico. So you can change it into the local dialect. 
and then just click on save. We'll update and preview and I will show you how the loyalty card looks. 